New Mexico was the perfect place for Mabel to come to, I think, to really express herself and explore some themes in her life and I think uh, the way she wanted to live. The Native American culture, the Hispanic culture, the adobe architecture, and right at that moment there's a sense that there's something here we need to preserve that's very, very precious, that's very real that's still here, that hasn't been trampled by industrialism and American values. The Taos Art Colony was going without Mabel, but she certainly broadened it and uh, added diversity and that constant effort to create a salon and bring people to town. Uh, Taos was pretty isolated, it wasn't easy to get to. So. Mabel had a strong influence on bringing those people to town, and some of them stuck. I think he, she went to so much trouble to bring Lawrence to Taos because he was a significant figure uh, internationally as a writer. And so she had this wonderful uh, vision where she saw the whole world fitted together. And she saw how every cell fit together and every, every bit uh, was achieved, what it would be like when the whole world was united instead of split apart. You look at Taos and you ask yourself the question, what would Taos be like today if Mabel had never come to Taos, if we had never heard of her? Dosberg would never have come to Taos, very unlikely. All of the younger people who were hungry for this kind of new direction, that's one big change that you would uh, notice immediately. Of course, the big one, was that D.H. Lawrence would never have come to Taos, and the whole Lawrence industry wouldn't exist. And of course, the, uh, Tony Luhan would never uh, become uh, Mabel's husband. I mean, just sort of unravel it, going back a step at a time. Our grandpa Tony, Antonio, and Mabel Dodge, they lived here, they made their life together here. And it's a start of their energy. The power of this place gives you the power back of who you are each time you come here. We're not here to change things. We're here to help Mother Earth. We're the caretakers of this area. We're medicine people. We're, we're supposed to be from our hearts. Nothing matters after that, because you're not taking nothing with you. You're coming in, you come in with nothing on, you're going out with nothing.